The Swedish suicide bomber who blew himself up at the weekend has been revealed as an Iraqi-born Swede who was educated in the UK. The imam at his local mosque outside London says Taima al-Abdali was not welcome there because he preached terrorism. Questions are now being asked about whether the radical Muslim could have been stopped because he tried to radicalise students at his university in Bedfordshire. Europe correspondent Emma Alberici reports. Taimur al-Abdali was born in Iraq, emigrated to Sweden and studied in the UK. On his social networking page, he lists his interests as the Apple iPad and the Prophet Muhammad. But he was expelled from this mosque. Worshippers here didn't agree with his extreme views. Part of me does, does, does question, did I spend enough time with him? Should I have really exposed him publicly and made him storm out? Maybe perhaps I should have stayed with him and worked more with him. The first bomb was detonated in a car registered to Al-Abdali. It exploded in a busy shopping strip in Stockholm, but no one was injured. Shortly after that, the 29-year-old blew himself up, injuring two people. Prosecutors believe it was a failed plot and that he probably wasn't acting alone. We should suppose that he had others behind him uh, if they were, uh, if they are accomplices or just uh, have inspired him to it uh, in some religious way or something else. Shortly before the bombings, Al Abdali sent an email to Swedish authorities and an audio recording saying he was protesting against coalition troops in Afghanistan and was angry about Swedish cartoons mocking the Prophet Muhammad. Stop your drawings of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Draw your soldiers from Afghanistan and no more oppression against Islam or Muslims will be tolerated. Al Abdali lived in Luton, 50 kilometres north of London, with his Swedish wife and their three children. Neighbours saw him here just last week. It's understood that Al Abdali wrote a will in which he spoke of wanting to fulfil an Al Qaeda threat to attack Sweden. A website claims that Al Abdali was working for the Islamic State of Iraq, a group linked to Al Qaeda. Emma Alberici, ABC News, London.